TOA community, Robert Linkle, trainingtheolderadult.com, here to talk to you about your rucking questions. This is ruck question number four. What footwear should ruckers wear and why? All right, there's a couple of ways to answer this. Number one is whatever you're most comfortable in, ideally, with the understanding that you're not wearing sandals, Crocs, slip-on shoes, anything that doesn't supply you any kind of support. Um, but I will say, if, if, and, it, and it also depends very much so on where you are rucking. If you are on flat you know, surface, asphalt or concrete, uh, you can get away with wearing just kind of a, like a regular recreational cross-training shoe would be fine. Do I think that you should wear a minimalist shoe? I personally don't think so. You gotta remember what you're doing. You're carrying extra load for distance. We're here to do a more physical demanding type of thing that is more than just carrying your body weight. So if you were just gonna go for a walk, you could probably do a minimalist shoe and, and you would do just fine. But the, because you're carrying extra load and ideally you're seeking hills, which is where a lot of the great benefit comes from. Don't get me wrong, you can get great get benefit from just walking around New York City and not have any hills and that's okay. But if you were in San Francisco rucking versus New York where you have constant hills, you're gonna get a lot more out of that, which is awesome. I'm a hill seeker, I encourage you to be a hill seeker, okay? Because of that, either off-road, dirt, rocks, grass, you know, DG, whatever it is you're gonna be on, uh, trails or undulating surfaces, etc. you should wear some type of cross-training shoe, if not a rucking boot. Now, do you need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on, on boots? It depends on how serious you are about this. I buy two pairs of rucking boots per year, typically every six months, but I am also putting upwards of 25 to 30 miles in per week when I ruck, okay? I should say 15 to 30, depending on the seasons and, how, and, and what I'm training for. I put a lot of mileage through my shoes. So I'm going anywhere from 60 to 120 miles a month. If you do that over six months, we're looking at 200 to 400 miles, you know, if not more. Uh, I could be upwards of, of 600 uh, miles over six months. You, your shoe's gonna need to last. Uh, I'm on asphalt and, and uh, you know, concrete in some of the areas where I ruck, but I have a lot of hills and a lot of demand. So I wear the rucking boots from um, Ultra, A. L-T-R-A, Ultra. And I love, it's called the Lone Peak, and I love that boot, I love that shoe. Actually, I've got it right here. Um, I had a big ruck yesterday in the rain, so I still have, uh, they're still stuffed, trying to dry them out. But a beautiful rucking boot, I love this thing. Uh, I am not sponsored by these guys, I'm not sponsored by anyone. But I uh, love that rucking boot, it's very pliable, but also offers a ton of support. I think that is, a great boot for you to wear and would last a very long time. Now, let's say you're just going out for two to three miles, two to three times a week, six to eight miles a, a week. You could wear those for a year or a year and a half, but only wear them to ruck in. And that's the second part of this. Whatever shoe you're going to wear, is it a ruck trainer? Is it a cross training shoe? Is it a boot? Is it, a, is it you know, what, whatever you're going to wear, those shoes should be dedicated to rucking only. Whatever weight, lifting shoes, shoes you wear when you're in the weight room lifting weights, those cross-training shoes should only be used for weight lifting, for when you're in the weight room moving load. The other shoes you have, your sandals, your slip-ons, your tennis shoes, whatever else you wear, those are for the rest of life. Everything else that you do, I have at minimum three pairs of shoes, a rucking pair, a lifting pair, and then everything else shoe that I do everything else in. I have that a presenting shoe, I have a sandal, I've designated my foot care as ridiculous, but I think that you should have dedicated shoes for each of these, whichever one it is. But should you wear a minimalist shoe? I don't think so, I think you need more support than that. You could get away with a uh, ruck cross trainer, um, something like this would be just fine. Okay, a little rucking shoe. These are the, uh, what are these guys called? These are the Go Ruck Series 1, I think. I don't, I don't know. But any of the Go Ruck shoes are great, fantastic shoes. Um, any of your REI you know, trail shoes are going to be great. I think as long as you're giving your foot and your uh, ankles some support for carrying load, you'll be good. Comments, questions, hit me up down below. If not, see you in the next one.